40 employees to 360 in the last three months. And who do you hire now, Barney? To tell me. What was that? What kind of, the kinds of people you hire? We hire every we put every every you know people that are have that have problems. I got a foundation now that I used to be a, an addict too, a drug addict. What kind of drugs? A crack cocaine. Oh, yeah. oh crack. Huh? Crack, yeah. So I've got a. You know, I stopped doing cocaine before they invented crack. Cause... Yeah, it's a, it's a two, it's two different drugs. Cocaine yeah. is way different than crack. Yeah, yeah I know. Because you change, you change the molecular, molecular structure or whatever. Right. And uh, my foundation's actually going to help you, unreachable, you know, to reach out. So you... I'd covered Mike Lindell for about a year before learning that he had suffered with a cocaine addiction and had been in prison for it. And I immediately felt a rush of sympathy for him, especially learning that the My Pillow company hired formerly incarcerated people who have a very difficult time finding jobs, as we know. Look in this video how calm, empathetic, and humble this version of Mike Lindell is. I mean, it's even hard for me not to respect this guy. But Mike Lindell's career, getting so wrapped up in Trumpism and MAGA politics, has not only completely shredded his soul, but it has zapped the entrepreneur of, quite literally, hundreds of millions of dollars in his futile quest to uncover instances of election in interference and so far he hasn't are you kidding me i we you know this is it and that's why these devices i'm telling you that monitor now if you're on the internet if you go on the internet if now i've said it on the stage this is also a filter remember what i called the evil i said it's the ccp globalist deep state uniparty that's the evil that came in what this has done by the way is united the people they've come into this bucket going hey we got to fix our election 74 percent now of the people in this country do not believe our elections are secure. Post MAGA Lindell is truly a very sorry sight, and I just can't get over how someone who had the intelligence, fortitude, and business savvy to self-fund a very successful company built on a message of inclusion can fall so hard and so quickly. Lindell has been commenting on Fox News and other right-wing media outlets for years, but it wasn't until Trump that he truly went off the deep end. I'm pretty sure at this point he is too much of a lunatic even for Fox News, but in this day and age with burgeoning anti-establishment news platforms and internet programs, Lindell is still finding the spotlight wherever he can, which in turn propels him to keep going down these crazy rabbit holes because no one is stopping him. I assume from these various speaking gigs he's getting paid, which he desperately needs since he's getting sued up the wazoo and losing so many legal fights. But in order to get those speaking gigs, he needs to keep spouting this nonsense. It really is a 21st century cautionary tale of how stratified media plus radicalized politics can lead to a deathly spiral into complete absurdity. And speaking of death, add to the Lindell case a fierce evangelical Christian belief in the coming end times, and it's easy to see why Mike Lindell has no fear of just going farther and farther off the deep end. And you never gave up instead of getting attacked and attacked and attacked because you knew we get this one chance or we lose the American dream forever. And that's it. We lose our country. There is a bright side to all this, though. Hey, if we're wrong, it's the end, it's, it's end times. We, all us believers go to heaven. It's, you know, it's a win-win, right? So this video was shared by Jim Stewartson, a technology researcher who surmises that Lindell's fall from grace is explicitly tied to his increasingly fervent right-wing perversion of Christianity. Normal people wonder what Lindell is gaining from ostracizing himself further and further to the right, making himself completely unrecognizable to who he was just 10 or 15 years ago. Stewartson posits that because he has an apocalyptic view on the world stemming from an interpretation of the book of Revelation from the Bible, Lindell basically is, quote, motivating Americans to push us towards chaos for decades because they believe if things get bad, it's fine because Jesus is coming to save them. The story of Mike Lindell is not just a sad story of a boomer who could have been beloved going a little off the political deep end. It is a deeply troubling warning of how a combination of a specific type of media, politics, and religion can truly become deadly. For more of my coverage on The Breakdown, check out my latest video where a Trump fanboy reveals why he still supports Donald Trump by clicking on the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.